Hi guys, welcome back to my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play on part 18. So thank you guys for sticking out, sticking it out with my part 17 in two parts because I went over time. I was having so much fun that I, I lost track of the time so thank you for being patient and uh, um, continuing to watch that part. 17. So I'm back. I'm going to take on Rex Raptor to start off with. I also did some minor deck editing off screen. And so, anyways, I'm going to start off with the Blast Sphere face down. And I'll see what Rex Raptor can do. He summons a Blackland Fire Dragon. And he goes for the attack. Blast Sphere is going to attach to that. So I've drawn Mystical Space Typhoon, I'm going to use that on one of his face down cards. Now take a look at what I destroyed. It was a Mirror Force, so thank god I did that. So now I'm going to summon a monster, and I choose Neo the Magic Swordsman. I'm not going to attack just yet, because it's equipped with Blast Sphere, so I'm going to end my turn. Now the Blast Sphere takes it down, and some life points are deducted, 1500, but he goes right get he destroys my Neo, and now he's, his Dragon Zombie is going to attack me directly. So I need to come back from this. So now I've got another Neo, so I can do just that. So I summon my Neo, and it's time to destroy his Dragon Zombie. So Rex loses 100 life points, so now we're all tied up at 6400 life points. He sets a monster in defense, so it's back to my move. Gonna summon the Crawling Dragon number 2. And while I'm at it, I'm going to equip Black Pendant to my Neo the Magic Swordsman. First of all, I'm going to have my Crawling Dragon attack his defense monster, but unfortunately it's a stone soldier, so Neo will have to destroy that. So unfortunately I didn't get to attack his life points. So it's my move, and I'm going to summon the Great White to the field. And let's see what the Great White can do against the defense monster. And it's a Black Lion Fire Dragon, so that goes straight to the graveyard. So Crawling Dragon will attack him directly. Now my Neo will take 2200 life point damage out of his life points. And now he's only got 2600 left. He sets another defensive monster. And this duel looks like it's over. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to have Neo attack his defense monster, and it's only a year B, so from these two attacks, the duel will end. So Great White going to finish off Rex Raptor, so I've won the duel. So let's see, it's time to choose another pack. And I don't like what I've been getting from the Guardian pack, so I'm just going to go with another pack. I'll go with Mystical Elf this time. Didn't get anything of use, but I did uh, pick up my weekly Yu-Gi-Oh today, so that's good. So let's see what I got. Oh, I got a Vorse Raider. How awesome is that? So the Vorse Raider is a an excellent four-star monster, 1900 attack. The Curry Box. I'm not gonna use that. Another Wicked Worm Beast. Dark Chimera, but it's a 5 star monster. But the Horse Raider is uh, really needed. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my deck. So I'm going to search for it in my trunk. So here it is, Horse Raider. Adding that to my main deck. And I'm going to um, get at least one more duel in. So I've beaten everyone three times except for Weevil and Mai. So it's Weevil's turn. Now I will whisk you off again to Insect Paradise! Yeah, yeah. 
so him and his bug, so it's time to begin this duel again with Weevil Underwood. So I've got three traps, so I'm going to set them all down. And I'm going to lay down Blast Sphere, and I'm going to end my turn. He summons the Dark Elf, but I'm not going to activate Trap Hole, I want him to attack my Blast Sphere. So that it can hook onto it. And next turn, it'll go boom. So, I'm just going to end my turn right here since I've only drawn Dark Magician and I don't have any tributes for that. So, Dark Elf explodes and he loses 2000 life points. He sets a defense monster and ends his turn. And now, I'm going to go ahead and reborn his Dark Elf, so that I could use it for myself, and I'm also going to set Magician of Faith down so I can get Monster Reborn back once it's um, flipped up. First I'm going to attack with Dark Elf, even though it costs a thousand life points, but he's got Man Eater Bug. Destroys Dark Elf, but that's not too bad because I won't lose any more life points from Dark Elf now that it's not on, no longer on the field. But he summons his Gokobor. And I'll just activate my trap hole so I can get rid of it. So his field is clear and hopefully I get a monster, but I've got Pot of Greed. I'll pick up two additional cards. to flip summon the Magician of Faith so that I could bring back my Monster Reborn uh, spell card. I'm going to re uh, reborn a monster, but I'm only going to use it as a tribute for my Dark Magician, so any of them will do. Now it's time to bring out my Dark Magician. I'm going to tribute Blast Sphere and Magician of Faith. Now my Dark Magician is on the field, I'm going to go ahead and equip it with a Dark Pendant. So now it's 3000 attack. Now it's time to deal some um, great damage to his life points, 3000. So one more attack from Dark Magician will end this duel. But he activates a Dark Hole. I don't have Magic Jammer on the field, so um, I'm going to lose Dark Magician, and Black Pendant will take 500 out of his life points. He summons Flying Kamakiri number 2, but I have the Wabaku to protect my life points this turn, so I activate that. So that negates uh, Kamakiri's attack, so it's my turn now. I'm going to activate Graceful Charity, I pick up 3 cards and I have to discard 2 cards. I will discard Wall of Illusion and Mask of Darkness. So let's see the attack of this Kamakiri. It's only 1500, so my Rogue Doll will be, will be able to defeat that. So Rogue Doll will attack Flying Kamakiri number 2. It gets destroyed and it's uh, Weevil's move. He activates Monster Reborn though, and he reborns my very own Dark Magician and uses that against me and destroys my Rogue Doll. So, that's that's not good, but I have the uh, Cyber Jar. But I have an idea, I'm gonna use Wall of Illusion so that Dark Magician will return to my hand instead of his. So that's what I'm going to do. He summons Witch of the Black Forest. Dark Magician going to destroy Wall of Illusion, but Dark Magician is going to return to my hand, which of the Black Force does attack my life points with 1100 though. But that's not too bad, I've got Dark Magician again. And um, I'm gonna set Magic Jammer down on the field, and I'm going to set Cyber Jar on the field. So he's in for a big surprise. He, uh, Witch of the Black Forest will go for the attack on the Cyber Jar. Witch of the Black Forest is destroyed. Allows him to pick up five cards. He picks up Parasite, Parasite, and this Mechanical Spider. 
Buying Comic Fury number 2. So they all go on the field. I've got Summon Skull, Trap Hole, Heavy Storm, um, Stone Soldier. I'll set that down on the field face down in defense. Uh, Crawling Dragon. I'm going to summon that in attack mode. But he's going to activate his Witch of the Black Forces effect. He's going to put Giant Rat back into his hand. And he's going to activate the Graceful Charity spell card. He picks up three, drops two, and he activates his Forest. But I'm not going to allow him to do that. So I'm going to activate Magic Jammer. And I'm going to discard Heavy Storm. So now he's no longer able to get his forest up, but he does activate Swords of Revealing Light. So now I can attack for two, three turns. And he tribute summons for the Insect Queens, which is not good at all. But I do have the Raigeki, so I'm going to activate that right now. But he changed that, he was ready, he has the Magic Jammer. So gotta give credit to Weevil Underwood for that. Oh, I should have activated 7 tools of the bandit. Uh, oh, well, that's alright. I can wait 3 turns, but... So... It's time to... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna start off by... Um, bringing out my summon skull. I'm gonna attribute my giant soldier of stone. So that'll end my turn. He has Sinister Serpent, he activates the Harpy's Feather Duster, so I lose two of my traps. In Insect Queen is going to destroy my Crawling Dragon. And it got an Insect Monster token. So, things aren't looking good right now, as Insect Queen powers up to 2800. So I have to activate Swords of Revealing Light now, so I can stop him from attacking. And I'm going to summon my Force Raider. So I end my turn. So, now I have Mystical Space Typhoon. So I'm going to go ahead and destroy Swords of Revealing Light one turn early. And it's time to end this duel. So I'm just going to attack the monster token with Force Raider. And that'll be the end of this duel. So Weevil goes down. So that was a hard fought match. So it's time to, for me to pick up another pack. This time I choose the Guardians. And let's see. More weak effect monsters. The Ogun is a 5 star monster which I don't want. Soul release. Select like 5 cards from either you or your opponent's graveyard and remove them from the current duel. So this is a pretty good spell card, I'll add that to my side deck. So I'm going to go ahead and, and add Soul Release to my side deck. So here I go, Soul Release. Will be going into my side deck. So my side deck now has 10 cards, it's looking pretty good. And that's about um, all I'll do for today's part, so thank you all for watching. Once again, my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play. And next episode, I will uh, definitely finish off, finish off Tier 2 and unlock Tier 3 by dueling um, my Valentine for the final time. So, I'll see you guys later.